Good morning. Welcome from Starkey Farmstead. This video is going to be short and sweet. It's nine o'clock in the morning. It's already 85 degrees. Let's talk about reducing your feed bill. I'm getting a lot of questions on how can I reduce my feed bill. Well, let's start with chickens. Chickens are extremely easy to feed. You can reduce their food a little bit every day and save yourself a whole lot of money in the end. Notice here that when I weeded the garden this morning and I pruned back some of the different plants, anything that I did not feel was market value sellable, it didn't look great, I didn't like it, whatever, and the leaves get thrown into the chicken pen. We also use a deep mulch system because my farm is situated on top of red clay. So I bring in wheelbarrows full of leaves, cut grass clippings, whatever I can find in the yard that I think that they can basically turn into compost for me. So they're eating constantly. And I only feed them first thing in the morning and they get about four cups of chicken feed for all these chickens, four cups. That's all that I feed them with bagged feed, pelleted feed. The rest of the time, they are turning this over, making compost, pulling worms and bugs out, eating the plant material and the rotting fruits and vegetables that I throw in here for them, the eggshells that I put, any kitchen scraps that we have left over that I don't wanna feed to the dogs, I feed directly into this chicken coop. We also have a racking pen. Above the chickens are the rabbits. Now, as they use the bathroom and they poop, underneath this pen, and this plastic is yet yeah, sturdy because of poo and the pee catches on it, sorry about that, but it funnels it down. And as you can see, the hens are digging through that soft manure picking out any fly larvae, any black soldier flies that lay larvae, any worms that come up, <laughs> and they'll dig through that to get their proteins. They don't eat the manure, but they eat anything that gets into the manure. The greatest thing about that is they mix it back out into the pen over here. Like I said, they're always making deep compost for me. This is a bucket of rabbit manure. What I noticed the other day when I came out here was that it was full, absolutely full of black soldier fly larvae. I'm not intentionally growing it, but you can see, I mean, they're great um, recyclers. And uh, basically like the red wigglers, they'll go through quite a bit of material and leave behind their droppings or their castings, which is their poo. So it's, it's going to turn all this manure into a really great fertilizer. But I come out here now and I get a big scoop of this about every second day. I feed the quail and I feed the chickens. And uh, my egg production is going up. The size of my eggs are getting larger. And when my chickens see me come in with that bucket, they get so very excited. I have a leaking water. Look for ways to feed your animals in unexplained ways. I didn't intentionally do this. I did pray about it. Was talking to God about it. Telling him I wanted to be able to reduce my feed bill. Put my animals on a more organic diet and a sustainable feeding schedule and a feeding way that I could keep it up. Basically like homesteaders did a hundred years ago. They didn't have the option to go to the store and buy feed. So they came up with ways to feed their animals on their farms. So that's my suggestion. Pray about it. If you ask, he'll answer. Start looking for it. It's not going to cost me anything. I didn't have to order worms offline. I don't do anything. I did slide it where the water leaks so that water stays in here because they like it moist. But when 
basically I just take a big, big, like I said, a cup, like a couple of cupfuls into the chicken coop and a couple of cupfuls into the quails. And they are loving it, guys. When they see me coming with that white bucket, they get so excited. So I'm going to tell you what, your animals would prefer to be off a of pelican feed. They want a natural way to eat. And it's our job as homesteaders, farmers, small livestock owners, and hobby farms to be able to give them what they need to be the best animal. That's called animal husbandry. You can do it, I can do it, and we can all learn from each other. Speaking about ways to reduce your feed bill, especially with chickens. We came out this morning, we did a baby check. We had three moms all deliver in the last two days. What we noticed was Doe 3 had a deceased kit in her box. So my husband got it out. Sometimes we will freeze in Ziploc bags, kits that have passed away, and I will sell them to people with exotic pets snakes, lizards. Like I told you before, being a homesteader is thinking outside the box, making money any way that you can. However, my husband said, what do you want to do with this kit? And I said, let's throw it in the chicken coop. And uh, I'm going to tell you the honest truth, guys. They are carnivores. I guess basically they're omnivores. But they have a a carnivore heart. I can't even find fur. I mean, it was like a two inch kit. I haven't seen any bones. This was about an hour ago. I haven't seen any bones. I haven't seen, I don't have it. There's no smell out here. It looked like a rugby match when he put that two inch kit in here. One would pick it up, they'd take off running. The others would just yank it out of their mouth. I didn't stand around and watch to the end but it didn't even take them probably 30 minutes and there's not even bones left. So I'm not sure what they did with the bones. I don't even know if chickens can eat bones. Just some food for thought. They need protein real. We don't use any commercial wormers. We use only herbal wormers on our farm when we see that there is a problem. We don't use any antibiotics or growth hormones because it's not about that for us. It's about clean food. Clean food is the most important thing to us. So if you're raising rabbits and you have a couple of kits pass away or older rabbits pass away, throw them in the chicken coop. Let your chickens do what they were meant to do. Let, guys, let your chickens live their best chicken life. Okay, it's important. Let them live their best chicken life and they will give you the best meat and the best eggs and be the happiest chickens ever. You guys have a blessed and safe weekend coming to you from Starkey Farmstead in Greensburg, Louisiana. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we just want to give you an opportunity. If you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord or Savior, we would like to encourage you to repeat this prayer out loud. Dear Heavenly Father, I ask Jesus to come into my heart ask you to forgive me for my sins, wash me in his blood, rejuvenate me, Lord, help me to make better choices and fill me with the Holy Spirit. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have a blessed day and go out there, prosper, and multiply.